Hello everyone, this is JVB from TalkingAboutGames.com and today you're looking at the Samsung Galaxy Note and the Samsung Galaxy S3 which just came out in the US and it's hard to find, let me tell you that. My wife was lucky enough to pre-order hers. There was a slight delay and everybody went all up in arms about it and I don't blame them. But nonetheless, she was able to get hers so I'm going to do a comparison between the two new Samsung devices. One which I use on a daily basis. Well, we all use our phones on a daily basis, but I use my Samsung Galaxy Notes religiously every day for, vari for various things. But here, I'm going to show you some of the basic things. Uh, well, compare the two most basic features that I find very interesting on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Here I'm just showing you the screen size between the two. The S, the S3 that is, is still a 4.8 inch screen, but the Samsung Galaxy Note makes it look kind of small. Now let me warn you, I do have on my Galaxy Note a special cover, it's reusable. So the, so the quality, the visual quality, the, the, the screen brightness, they're both on all, all the way up. Uh, but it's going to look a little different. Now here I'm showing memory because on the Samsung Galaxy S3, it has two gigabytes of onboard memory. The Galaxy Note only has one. Now, as we know with every electronic device, some of that memory is going to be used by the OS, by the device itself. So here you see 1.62, but you only see 866 megabytes used. And as I clear it, you see it goes down to 400 and it was 50 applications open. So you have a lot of memory on this phone. Now here on the Galaxy Note, you see that I have 614 megabytes used out of 100 out of 720. Now you see some of the applications and uh, my fitness pal because I'm a fat bastard, you see how it's using up memory. Now of course there's always applications in the background. So after clearing up some memory, I only have 453 megabytes free out of 720. The phone still runs very smoothly, but I would love that extra memory and I would love to know that I don't have, I don't have to keep clearing up memory to use certain things. So here I'm showing the camera because that's the other feature that I find that I use religiously on my Galaxy Note. And here I'm showing the shutter speed. And it also has a, it has a burst shot mode where you can take about, I think 30 shots or something like that. And in the bottom, you see the blue line letting you know how many shots you have left. And as you can see, the quality is really good. And even if you don't want to use burst shot, you can still rapidly hold down the shutter button. And there goes our model and there goes the galaxy notes. And as you can see, for some reason, the visual quality is not that good. As, as I stated, I did have a protective screen over it. And you can see the speed is lacking. It's, it, it makes my phone feel old because it is taking more time. And, and you can see I'm rapidly pressing down the shutter button. And I'm, sco I'm zooming in, trying to get a good focus here. I'm going to show you some... Uh, the various shooting modes and it does not have that burst shot so that's a little disheartening it's something that i really would have enjoyed to have i, I use the camera a lot so i'm going to do a quadrant uh, quadrant standard benchmark here now to the average user especially my wife she can give two craps about this but i'm a power user i'm always Modifying my phone as you can tell I have a different launcher. I'm always installing ROMs and everything like that So it's good to know where my Galaxy Note stands against The latest big dog and right now the Samsung Galaxy Galaxy S3 is The biggest dog in the yard right now We'll see what happens with the iPhone 5 and obviously you could tell that the S3 is moving very uh, very rapidly through this benchmark 
very rapidly. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> but regardless, you can even see the brightness. I don't know if it's the protective screen that I have on my phone. I didn't want to take it off. It's reusable so I can uh, wash it and put it back on. It is anti-glare. That's another thing. My wife has the basic screen protector on her Galaxy S3. And you can see that the S3 is done. All right, and we'll go to our results. And as I stated, the average user is the average user is not going to really care about this. Now, at the very top on the left-hand side, you can see that the Galaxy S3 has the best score. Mine is third. So you can see that it has the S3 that is it has some impressive power. I'm going to bring the phone close up. And you can see that it gets a score of 5056. It beats the HTC X, uh, One X, excuse me. And it even beats the Asus Transformer tablet. It's a tablet and it has a higher score. So that's, that's really good because mine is in the 3000s, as you will see in a few. But that's impressive. Uh, the funny thing was, last night, it was getting scores of 2,000. So I don't know what happened. I guess the phone somehow cleared a few things up. I don't know. But it was weird. It was getting only 2,000. Now here, you'll see my score for the Samsung Galaxy Note. 3,538. I'm third. Well, the phone is in third place. The One X, the Transformer, Prime. They're ahead. Those are two impressive devices, by the way. So it's not that bad. The One X is a beautiful phone. I wish that I, I, I kind of wish the Galaxy Note had that design. So as you can see, if the uh, S3 definitely has the power to back up some of these features. And as I stated for the everyday user, you're not gonna really notice the horsepower underneath, you will notice immediately the two gigabytes of onboard memory. That's a big thing because you can do several things that no other phone can do right now. Now here I'm doing S Note and I'm running Ice Cream Sandwich on my Galaxy Note, which is delayed in the US for some reason. I don't know why. But here I'm using the S Pen, which is a big advantage for the Galaxy Note because I use this every day for various reasons for work i work in elevators so i take notes as you can see i'm using the s pen and it works flawlessly on the galaxy note unfortunately it does not work for the galaxy s3 so you have to use your finger or buy an, an accessory that they sell a stylus that will work i will say finally that the samsung galaxy s3 is a is a device that makes me a little jealous because of the two gigabytes of onboard memory. But as I stated, I use the S Pen a lot. So that is one thing that I can brag about to my wife. But nonetheless, both phones are amazing. The Samsung Galaxy Note, as you all know, has that 5.3 inch screen, which can't be beat. Even though the S3 has a 4.8 inch screen, it still feels small in my hand. But it's a great upgrade. It is the top phone right now as far as performance. It has a great screen. It has S Voice, Smart Stay, Floating Video. It's, it's full of amazing features. I highly recommend it. So take care, everyone. I'm JVB. Talk to you next time.